This was the first real test of a recently added emergency alert system. And there are concerns. Some people say the alerts came way too late to be of any value. News Channel 15's Michael Kuhn dug deeper into the story to find out why it took so long and what's being done to prevent it from happening in the future. Michael. I talked with the executive director of the Consolidated Communications Partnership today. Besides weather alerts, he said this was the first time using the new SWIFT 911 system that we first told you about in a 15 Finds Out report in February. He said with firsts come opportunities to improve. Uh, this weekend here it wasn't in a timely manner by any means, but we wanted to go ahead and start using this system. Ray Pohl said CCP collected the information from city utilities and pushed out the alert, but only people registered through SWIFT 911 got the message, and several of them didn't get it until almost 24 hours after the initial alert. It's that response time that's left many people upset, and they're telling us all about it on Facebook. Big Og said, I received my alert Saturday evening. Not happy. Catherine told us, if it weren't for local news, I would not have known in time. I'm just thankful it was precautionary and not a true emergency. Rapel said CCP and city utilities didn't have a formal arrangement in place to send out boil advisory alerts, but that's changing. We found out uh, working with city utilities uh, with this precautionary advisory that uh, this was one of the things that we hadn't done any um, contact or in-depth work with, and now we're getting those uh, set up right now. And so if this ever happens again, we'll be ready and we can get it out very quickly to the public. Even though things didn't go perfectly this time around, Raypole encourages people to still sign up for the SWIFT 911 alerts. Find this story on Wayne.com to find out how. In Fort Wayne, Michael Kuhn, News Channel 15.